we're in an AI race globally. What do you think the U.S. government needs to do to win that AI race to have the very best AI technology? First, uh, in, order to, in order to have a race, to do well in a race, you have to understand the race. And you have to understand the resources that you're working with, the assets that you have, the assets you don't have, your advantages and your disadvantages. And some of the things to realize is that, that AI is fundamentally um, at this core level, you know, and, and going back to the three levels that, that we're talking about, at each level, we have to make sure that we understand the game. And, and this game isn't, you know, there's no 60-minute clock on this thing. This is an infinite game. And so most people aren't very good at playing infinite games. You know, NVIDIA is now 33 years old. Uh, we've been through three computer revolutions, from the PC revolution to the Internet to mobile, and now we're in AI. And so you have to, in order to thrive across all of these different changes in the environment, you have to understand how to play games. And, and so the things that I just described, uh, understanding the game, understanding the assets you have, really important. At the first layer, at the technology layer, the most important thing to understand is the, the intellectual capital. And remember, 50% of the world's AI researchers are Chinese. First, just take a step back and recognize that. That important factor has to, has to play into how we think about the game. The next is AI factories. In order to, to do well there, you need to have energy. Because fundamentally, we, tra we, trans we transform electricity into digital tokens. Just as the last industrial revolution transformed atoms through energy into, you know, steel things and uh, physical things that we know, cars and things like that, buildings and things like that. And the generation before that, we, we gave it water into a machine called the dynamo, and what came out was electricity. And so now we have electricity go in and tokens come out. So the next layer requires energy. The layer above that is just happening now. And it's really, really important that we understand that ultimately the winners of the last industrial revolution wasn't the, com wasn't the country that invented it. It was the country that applied it. And the United States applied, applied steel, applied energy faster than any country. Everybody else was worried about things like labor and, you know, horses being replaced by cars and, you know, those kind of matters. But the United States, just, we just took it and ran with it. And so the, the infrastructural layer above that is about the application of the technology. It's about not being afraid of it, wanting to engage it. Um, uh, reskilling, reskilling our workforce so that we're able to apply it, uh, encouraging people to adopt it.